All right, welcome back to the Laravel 5.5 new, new features from the Dev Marketer channel. Today, we're gonna focus on our third video in the series, which is about easier factory building. So there is now a PHP artisan command that allows us to build and generate factories. This is really, really nice because if any of you guys have done this before, you know that you come into the factories folder, you find your user factory, this comes pre-built with, or this is like, part of Laravel, when you have a fresh install, you have a user factory. Normally you would like duplicate the file or you would just copy all this and then paste it into a new file. And it's always a little bit manual. So now there's a new artisan command to make that happen. So let's head over to our um, command here. And if we actually do um, PHP artisan list make, this will show all the new commands that we have, well, all the commands for the make uh, com uh, artisan commands. So you can see if you come down, we have this new make factory command. If you scroll down, there's actually a few other new ones like make rule, but we'll do that in its own little video. So let's focus on this make factory. This creates a new model factory and not a lot's changed with the factories themselves, just the fact that it's a little easier to generate uh, new ones now. Now, before I show you guys this, I wanna just do show you what I did to kind of prep for this video. Up here, I have created a new model called post. This is obviously for like a blog type of example. So we've got a basic model here for post and then I've also generated and ran some migrations in our database to create a basic post table. So ID, title, content, and timestamps. That's it, very, very basic, okay? So now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's generate a factory to put some random data in that posts table. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's generate this factory. So what we can do is we can do PHP artisan make factory, very basic, give our factory a name. In our case, let's call it post factory, just to kind of follow the same, uh, the other one's called user factory, call ours post factory. And then we're gonna pass it in a flag here, it says model equals, let's give it the name of the model, in our case, post. So there we go, let's go ahead and click enter. It's gonna create our factory successfully. And now inside of our new, in our factories folder, we have a brand new file, postfactory.php. Looks great, it's a nice blank slate for us to get started, it automatically imports Faker, it sets up the factory, you can see it's linked to our post class, so it's good, to, and it also type hinted factory for us, or Faker here for us as well. So it makes it super easy for us to uh, run this. So let's go ahead and tell it what to do when we run the factory. So the way this works is we give it a column name, and then we tell it what to generate in that column name. So remember, this is random data to generate random stuff, okay? So we're gonna use the faker command, so faker, and then we're going to tell it to run a sentence. So with a sentence, this will be like the title. It's gonna be lorem ipsum text, but it just randomly generates a sentence for us. And um, then what we also wanna do is, I think, let's see, this, I can't remember. There are problems with, let's see, sentence, Okay, yeah, so one thing you wanna be careful of is that some of these faker commands don't execute strings. They execute into, they return um, arrays like this one does. So as you can see here, you can, the sentence command does return a string. The paragraphs command actually returns an array. That'll cause a problem. So we do need to either type hint this as a string or there is actually a second command to generate it as a string as well. So we're good here. Let's go now, the next command is content. Let's tell it to generate a faker paragraphs. And we're gonna tell it to run, create a random number of paragraphs. So let's do the random command. And then we'll just say between two and 10 paragraphs. And then for the second command, we can, if we just do it like this, it'll work, but it returns an array, so it'll cause a problem with factories. So we can then pass in true, or the other option is you can also, you could type hint this as a string. So whichever you prefer. I'm gonna actually just do the, the second one. So there we go. So now we got that, we've created our factory and now we can go ahead and run the factory. So let's go through our terminal and just do this again. So we're gonna do, um, we'll just open up Tinker to do it inside of Tinker and run the factory inside of there. So we'll say app post is gonna be the model and let's generate 10 of them. And then we either need to pass in make or create. If you run um, create, it actually saves it into the database. Make does not. So we go ahead and we run it and here we go. We've got our um, all of our fake commands. So each of these is one new model. We created 10 of them. There's the title, there's the content. So it looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and exit Tinker and let's head over to SQL Pro. Just take a look at this. 
And here we go. So now inside of posts, I didn't have any, this was empty before, but now we have some basic information. So that's all it takes to get that going. Last thing I'll show you guys, again, this is nothing new, but um, I just wanna let you know, what, if you're actually using it as a seeder, if you wanna run it with your seed command, you need to go ahead and fill this in here. So inside of this, you would wanna run your factory command. So you would do exactly what we just did there, and you would run your app post factory with 10 commands or however many you want, like that, okay? So there you go, now you can generate 10 of those commands. Okay, if you guys have any questions, leave them in comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the fourth video where we talk about the new migrate fresh command. Mm -hmm.